This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. All right, we started with 16 teams. We are down to the final two. You're going to see the championship game played today. We have two great teams, Delphus Jefferson High School taking on Coldwater High School. And we will introduce you to our players right now. We have joining us from Delphus Jefferson, Ben Kurth, Jason Ditto, Aaron Stant, and Lexi Carpenter. And Delphus Jefferson is coached by John Vini Cutter and Joshua Vasquez. Welcome back to all of you. All right, here we go with cold water now. Kathy Langenkamp, Dane Rindler, Martin Wagner, and Alex Waltmeyer. Cold water is coached by Matt Lange. All right, you guys, this is structured a little bit differently. We have three rounds, but they are all worth 20 point or 20 point question 10 point questions there are 20 questions in each round I'll get it right by the time we start here so everybody make sure you get your buzzers ready please speak loudly and clearly and of course we want to thank our judge for returning Mark Dickman and he will be <coughs> the judge that we consult if we have any questions about your answers okay let's relax and have a good time and enjoy the show all right question number one Traditionally, how many Supreme Court justices? Yes, Coldwater. Nine. Nine is the answer. Name the chief seaport on New Hampshire's coast that begins with the letter P. Coldwater. Portsmouth. Portsmouth is correct. Identify the place where images of celestial bodies are projected on a domed, yes, Coldwater. Planetarium. Planetarium is correct. Number four, which of the planets in our solar system comes first alphabetically? Yes, that would be Delphus. Earth. Earth is correct. Give the English name of the place where mythological hero souls went after death. Yes, cold water. The underworld? The underworld is incorrect. Delphus Jefferson, you want to try it? Yes. The fields of others fodle. That is also incorrect. Elysian fields is what we're looking for. All right, number six. Name the descendants of the original French and Spanish settlers in Louisiana. Cold water. Cajuns. Cajuns is incorrect. Delphus Jefferson, you want to try? All right, time is up. Creoles is the answer. Number seven. In 1857, it was ruled that a slave was not a citizen in which Supreme Court case? Yes. Douglas versus Missouri. That is incorrect. Coldwater, you want to try? All right, the answer here is Dred Scott. All right, question number eight. What is the southernmost province of Canada? Yes, that would be Coldwater. Quebec. Quebec is incorrect. Delphus Jefferson, you want to try? Yes. Newfoundland. That is also incorrect. Ontario is what we're looking for there. And number nine, give the formal title of the Aesop fable about a boy and a wolf. Yes, cold water. The boy who cried wolf. That is incorrect. Delphus Jefferson. All right, the answer here is the shepherd boy and the wolf. Question 10. In which country were 52 Americans held for 400, yes, cold water? Iran. Iran is correct. All right, moving on to the final 10 questions in the first round. Which president was the first to hold a pilot's license, learning to fly in 1939? Yes, that would be Delphus. George H.W. Bush. That is incorrect. Coldwater, you want to try? 1939, who thought that would be Truman? Truman. 
1939. Yes. A chairman. Incorrect. The answer is Dwight Eisenhower. GM's birthplace was in this town whose name sounds like a type of rock. Yes, Delphus. Ignatius. That is incorrect. So, Coldwater, you've got a chance with this one. I'm a guess. Yes. Detroit. That is incorrect. The answer is Flint. All right. Who wrote the story, A Rose for Emily? Yes, Delphus. Emily Dickinson. No, that's incorrect. Coldwater, you want to try it? Yes. Emerson. Also incorrect. William Faulkner is the answer here. All right, half of what bird's height is in his neck? Cold water? The ostrich. Ostrich is correct. Name the southwestern state that was admitted to the Union in 1912. Yes, Delphus Jefferson. New Mexico. Incorrect. Cold water, you want it? Yes. Nevada. Also incorrect. Arizona is the answer. All right. What body part enables most insects to feel and smell? Cold water. Antenna. Antenna is the answer. Name the cloth sash that is often worn with a tuxedo. Yes, cold water. Cumberbund. Cumberbund is the answer. All right, in what state is Klingman's Dome the state's highest point? Cold water. Tennessee. Tennessee is the answer. Okay, you have two questions remaining shoes. round one. Who pitched 55 no hitters in the Negro League, then entered the majors? Cold water. Jackie Robinson. That is incorrect. Uh, Delphus Jefferson, you've got a shot here. Okay, time is up, teams. The answer is Satchel Page. All right, here's your final question, round one. Who wrote the play, The Glass Menagerie? Yes. Shakespeare? Shakespeare is incorrect. Coldwater, you've got a shot. Yes. Mary Angelou? That is incorrect. The answer is Tennessee Williams. Okay, 20 questions, and here's our score. Delphus Jefferson with 10 points. Coldwater with 80. We'll be back with the next 20 questions right after this break.